What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ignite and today I'm bringing you guys a little bit of commentary, not live commentary, I just want to discuss not a problem but a hot topic that's going on in the Call of Duty community lately. I saw a video or a commentary or a video, whatever you want to call it, a couple days ago and I've been thinking uh, this video was uploaded by Funder, I don't know his exact like gamer or his YouTube type, it's like everybody knows who he is, it's like Funder and his YouTube and White Boy. Um, I watched White Boys first and he said like he didn't straight out claim that sniping was overpowered but he asked is sniping overpowered and broken which is totally fine that's his opinion and that's like him just asking a question because uh, he said like yeah sniping could be overpowered when you look at my gameplay in the background that he had right and he had 33 kills to 39 kills to 3 deaths and that gameplay was on the map Gustav Cannon which is catered towards sniping. I can play Team Deathmatch on that map and I can drop a nuclear, no problem. Because first off, I'm playing Team Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch is not a game mode that's like specifically hard to play. It's just because, just because like a lot of new players play Team Deathmatch, so it's like easier players to play against there. And uh, it's skissed up cannon. You can stay on top of the cannon and you can particularly get like a 10 kill streak die, then go up there, get a 15 kill streak die, you know, you can get a good KD just by going up to that cannon. And the spawns are particularly like catered towards sniping. Uh, so when they say sniping is overpowered, and both of them had the gameplay gist of cannon in the background, and like, keep in mind, uh, White Boy just asked if sniping is overpowered, while this other guy just stated out that sniping is overpowered and broken. So. Not hate to them, but I'm just saying that you should not play one specific map. That's like playing one more very mustard and playing bog or countdown, then sniping on that map, and then you're like complaining about sniping being overpowered. Obviously, sniping is not overpowered when you play it on a map that's catered towards sniping. That's just sniping being really, really good at that map. Take the sniper on point to hack. You're not gonna do well. Like you, you can do well. I'm not saying that you. Everybody's gonna do bad. But I'm just saying that, you know, that map is not catered towards sniping, so it's going to be especially higher or like harder to actually go well and do good on that map with a sniper. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. And you've got to keep in mind, like, they got the bar. I think that's the one reason why they're complaining about sniping getting that they want sniping nerfed, is because the bar got nerfed. And as soon as the bar got nerfed, they're complaining about sniping. And it, just let me say this right the bar did not get nerfed. They gave it a little bit of recoil, which was not the problem with the gun. The problem is more that it kills super fast because it has one of the highest rate, like it has a high rate of fire, like a way too high rate of fire for a gun like that has the damage and it has a lot of damage as well, so it kills you super super fast. And it's not the recoil, because before the recoil kicks in, you already killed the person because it has such high fire rate or like it has a decent fire rate and a lot of damage. So it doesn't really make sense nerfing the recoil on it. They should just give it less damage or less fire rate or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so it's just really really retarded seeing people saying that, that sniping is overpowered and broken just because like they can do well with it on a map that's catered towards sniping like Gustav Cannon, Modern Warfare Mastered, Bog or Countdown. Uh, so that's just really really annoying seeing people just stating that out and uh, I'm not trying to defend my playstyle because I'm a sniper, I'm not trying to defend my playstyle but just keep in mind if I'm playing point to hawk, isn't it way easier to just use a uh, submachine gun or shotgun? instead of just using a sniper, you know? So it's kind of retarded when people just say something like that. And uh, you gotta take into consideration, is sniping overpowered or is it like the sni like everything that comes with sniping? The sniper rifle, I would say it's not overpowered. The Springfield shoots way too slow, like not way. So it's really, really like, it, it's really weird when people just say it, cause like it's the same, like I would do better with a, like, I don't know, like it's really retarded, like, cause you have the sniper rifles, you got the Springfield, which shoots slow, it has like a raw, like really rare to kick back when you shoot the ball, like the whole rifle just moves weird, like not, I'm not saying that it should be buffed or anything, I'm just saying that, keep that in mind. And you got the car, which is pretty much the best sniper rifle in the game, but it's not as powerful as like having a Barrett from one more harasser or something like that. And the semi-automatic sniper rifle that you got in the game is not a one-shot kill either, so I don't know, but if you think about like, Usually snipers run around with Mountain Division, I would say the Mountain Division is overpowered and the Mountain Division needs a nerf. It has both dead silence and you can hide from a map, from UAV and so on. So that's a little bit, you know, retarded that they gave that class. Like they should remove one of those perks from that class and just add that as a Division perk. Well, not a Division perk, but as a basic training because they shouldn't have both. That's kind of, I can see that people call that overpowered because people are then using the Mountain Division with the STG for example. And they have dead silence and they're hiding from the map 
or the UAV. So that's overpowered, but that's like, you gotta keep that in mind. It's different between, you can't just say the sniper's overpowered just because it's good on one map. That's just saying that bike, that's just using a sniper on bike and then claiming that sniping is overpowered, which is not like, you could try snipe on, for example, crossfire on that map and you have a harder time going positive. I'm not saying you're gonna go super negative or you're not gonna go positive at all. I'm just saying that's a lot harder and it's a lot harder hitting feeds. And uh, that, this, this is always something that people complain about. They're always like, yeah, sniping is so powerful because I see all of these clips that people are hitting. Me, personally, I've been using Sniper for two two years now. Like, I started sniping like two years ago. I haven't been sniping since like Call of Duty 4. I've been a tryhard, like competitive player and tryharding. But I know how much dedication and time it goes down to actually learn, not learn how to snipe, but get used to sniping. So you know where to aim in all the time. And every time we get a new Call of Duty, we have to readjust to that. So, you know, which you don't have to do with a red gun. A red gun almost stays the same for every Call of Duty. I'm not saying it's easy to red gun, I'm just saying that you, there's a lot more factors going into learning how to snipe and getting used to sniping, getting good with sniping. Like, if you want to drop a nuclear with a snipe, a sniper and you're playing point to hawk you have to have a really good play style or you need to be smart you need to be accurate because if you miss one shot of point to hawk which is a small map you're dead that's just how it is like unless the enemy is completely useless so keep that in mind you can't just claim that a sniper or like a class or like weapons or powered of a map and that just doesn't go for snipers but like for every weapon like you can't just say oh shotgun so powered just because they're good on point to hawk. I've seen a lot of people doing well with shotguns on point to hawk. And I'm not gonna state shotguns are overpowered because I know that that map is small and shotguns caters for small maps. So a lot of people are just, I don't know, it's really annoying seeing people like that. They're just not using their brain and their brain's not functioning. Apparently when they're just stating stuff all like that out, it's just really fucking retarded. So if I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit tilted about this because they got the bar, they got the FG30, uh, the FG, 31 or whatever it's called, they got the STG and they got all the melty submachine guns and they're complaining about mostly the car being too overpowered, you know, we got one good sniper rifle out of the four. I'm not saying the Springfield and the Lee Enfield is bad, but it's not as optimal as using the SD car. So this is my opinion, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this a little bit like my standpoint as a sniper, what I'm thinking about when people say something like this. And uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe as it really, really helps me out. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care. Oh, go on, go on, go on.